Hello, and welcome to our presentation. We are Group 11, and the organization we decided to cover is called CPT Group. They are considered a class action administrator. We will talk about what that means with a little more detail later on in the presentation. As for our group members, my name is Jose Torres. Fellow members are Myra Garcia, Fernando Arias, Vanessa Romero, and Julio Fernandez. The order of our presentation will be as followed. Myra and myself will introduce CPT Group, and we will talk about what they do, as well as what kind of organization they are. We will also introduce CPT Group Manager Julie Green, who we were able to interview about the company and her experiences there as a manager. We will cover the company's department chart. We will talk about Julie Green's position, as well as what departments she currently manages. For the company and finally we will highlight three important questions from the interview which our group will expand on in detail in our critical analysis section fernando and vanessa will be covering our critical analysis section in this section they will be dissecting the three important questions that we highlighted during the interview addressing organizational problems which we had observed as well as providing our solutions to these problems using resources provided from our lectures and literature throughout our time within this course. And finally, Julio, who will be providing the recap of our presentation, reiterating a brief summary of our three important topics from the interview, as well as adding in a few additional details specifically about the company, its origins, and its founder. CPT Group. What is CPT Group? CPT Group is a class action administrator that handles various types of lawsuit cases. A class action lawsuit is one in which a group of people with similar injuries caused by the same product or action sue the defendant as a group. CPT Group specializes in seamlessly administrating class action lawsuits from planning through settlement. They offer the single source convenience and assurance that all aspects of the action will be effectively brought to a fully compliant and satisfactory conclusion. So next we're gonna cover how CPT Group represents themselves. Uh, if you'd like, you could actually pause the video. I'm gonna have the websites to their main link and their LinkedIn if you wanna check out what they do, have a better idea of what we're gonna be talking about. Um, as of now, I'm just gonna highlight a few of the, uh, few of the images that, that we felt showed how they like to project positivity uh, among their workforce um, as you can tell from these pictures here they they have a very uh, uh, large sense of community among their employees um, everyone's all smiling here in these pictures as you can tell so who did we interview we interviewed julie green she is currently the senior vice president of operations she has been with the company for about 14 years now Julie started as an entry-level case manager and over the years with the company had rotated and held multiple positions, learning various skills along the way, which altogether had better equipped her for the position she currently holds today. An important point that Julie mentioned to us during the interview was how valuable her time with the company has been since its early beginnings. This had allowed her to get to know how the company ticks knowing what works and what doesn't work for every department and every employee of the company. Over time, she had gained a better understanding on what type of changes and managerial styles the company had to undergo. This timeline ranges from when the company was under 20 employees to the 60 plus employees they currently have. A quick example she mentioned was due to the rapid growth of the company they had slowly started shifting to a more professional, policy-oriented environment from the more casual environment that a small workforce can expect. This change in environment was not favored among the employees, but was an essential part to keep the company better managed as a whole. As before, we have added her LinkedIn profile. If you would like to pause the video, and know more about Julie Green and her role at CPT Group, please do so now. 
CPT Group Departments chart. This chart encompasses between 60 and 70 employees that currently work for CPT Group. We learned that from the interview that the company is optimistic about growing their workforce. They had projected to match the same positive rate of growth as previous years. At the top of the chart is CEO and founder Henry RJ. Directly after is Senior Vice President of Operations, Julie Green, which we added a nice little bright red circle right there in the middle, if you didn't see it. And between everyone else on the chart, they all fall under their corresponding departments. An example would be the disbursement and tax team, which be located under the Treasury and Settlements Services Department. Uh, as you can see from the chart, there's very little mixing between departments. This is due to the type of work they handle at the company. So a majority of the information that comes down directly from the respective leadership. Any meetings that employees may have are usually held at their own department levels. And if necessary, mass emailing across the company is used to spread any critical information. Organizational culture within. CPT Group focuses on engaging with their employees through numerous events like spirit weeks, employee baby showers, and monthly birthday celebrations. As you can see in these pictures, a sense of community can be seen at CPT Group. So now we're going to cover the questions that we asked Julie Green during our interview with her. Uh, the first question is, as a leader, how do you manage conflict with employees? For Julie personally, management is challenging due to the fact that everyone has different personalities. But for CPT, they have been very careful on who they hire. Since they hire on a personality factor based on the culture of the company and the customer service aspect, they learn by trial, trial and error and what patterns to look at when hiring people. They, they have learned to filter out certain patterns that would come up. And for the second question, how would you go about motivating your employees? Julie believes that checking in with coworkers and sharing meaningful experiences, laughing about things makes the environment more appreciable to work in. An example Julie mentioned was when a new case manager came to her upset about the negative outcome of the case. Julie shared her experiences with her early cases and consulted the case manager. She she suggested an optimal solution to the problem. The third question is, has there been a moment in CPT history where an employee didn't fit into the culture of the organization? Julie stated there was an issue during the early stages of CPT group. A former employee did not fit into their culture, therefore created a conflict among the other employees. Since they were not able to find a solution to the problem by finding a replacement for that specific role within an adequate amount of time, years passed until the employee finally left the company on their own terms. Ultimately, Julie felt she was making the right decision, but hesitated as she felt she was inexperienced to handle the situation. We'll start on our critical analysis. Our interview with CPT Group was very interesting. We were able to see how a law firm works. During the interview, Julie mentioned several problems in which we do agree on, but we also have some su suggestions for her. We were able to see three uh, operational behavior problems uh, during our interview at CPT. Firstly was communication between departments, diversity and employee accommodation, and onboarding training process. We'll go over our first problem, communication between departments. Departments within the company are separated, which often leads to miscommunication between the departments. Managers are meant to be the official channel to handle uh, this information among these departments, but, it, but, the problem, but this leads to a problem of uh, creating a bottleneck of employee issues at the higher level of management. So our solution for problem number one in communication between departments came to be that since managers are currently the ones communicating between departments, they need to have a more open line of communication among the different departments. 
Julie stated that email is their more preferred method, but sometimes it's a problem because there is no face-to-face -face connection, so they need to use their tools wisely. Sometimes emailing is a better way because it explains the same thing at the same time in the same way. They just need to be careful on how they draft their emails and how they are saying things, which is part of their training to be consistent on how they portray themselves. Better yet, to use a more a personal approach like a conference call or calling the client directly in a more delicate situation. A connection to problem number one that we found was in the chapter of interpersonal communications through the sections of communication directions and communication technology. For communication direction, we found that messages flow downward, upward, and horizontally. Spherical communications take place among teams and network organizations. And in this case, CPT group is in it is a upward communication because all departments report to Julie. For communication technology, email has replaced several older forms of communication, but it has also resulted in a flood of messages. Julie also mentioned this problem because email is a problem for them since they get so many that some do eventually get lost. Now we're going to go over our second problem, diversity and employee accommodation. Uh, as the company grows, there will be more people with needs since uh, everyone is different. CPT is a small company with only 62 employees. HR compliance with specific benefits needed by employees. Diver diversity is not yet necessarily a problem because they are not yet a large enough company to worry about those kind of complaints. Once a company is big enough to have government contracts, which they may or may not get in the future, then they will have to pay attention because they will have to report these certain things to government agencies at the end of the year. Our solution to problem two in diversity and employee accommodation is that as the company grows, there will be more employee needs since everyone is different. An example of this would be that CPT would adjust to accommodating a growing company size, is currently rolling out an investment program like a 401k, and which can result in an improvement in their employee turnover rate. Another example would be their constant adjustment to their birthday celebrations and work-wide meals due to the growing size of their workplace. And this would be that they would put together all birthdays of one month together every month. Julie mentioned that they currently don't pay attention to the diversity in their company since they are well balanced in diversity. So we do suggest that they try to focus on diversity in the future throughout their hiring process. The connection to this problem would be in the chapter of group dynamics and motivation, in which in group dynamics would be team diversity. This would have to be um, that their employees would be more diverse throughout their hiring processes. And in motivation would be their benefit plan of their 401k retirement plan. Employees find that work is more meaningful when it matters or makes a difference to them. So by them being motivated to having a 401k plan will make them more happier and make their work more meaningful. Lastly, we'll go through our third and problem. onboarding training process uh, an inadequate allocation of personnel and time on onboarding employees various amount of employees from different levels of the hierarchy that need to train new employees on critical systems and procedures that are required to operate independently due to the large workload training is commonly scheduled around the optimal time for trainers our solution to problem three of onboarding training processes is that CPT should designate one person to train new employees. That way time is not wasted in training new employees when that time can be used to solve a claim. 
Julie stated that they have wasted time training new employees because those employees do not last lo long in the company. They tend to leave in several months. So by having one person train new employees, they are not wasting time. A connection to this problem was in the chapter of learning perception and value in the concept of the two learning process. When the person trains new employees, they are showing, training them by showing modeling and shaping. Modeling occurs through intimidation of somebody in which it is a key aspect of the social cognitive theory. This has to do with learning by observation rather than trial and error or rewards and punishment. Shaping has to do with a, the rewarding in small steps. It's helpful in learning complicated skills through step-by-step -step training. I'd like to do a recap on CPT Group. CPT Group was founded in 1984 by the man named Henry Arjad, who is the CEO and president of the company. Originally, when it was founded in 1984, it started off as a computer store. Over the years, it ended up changing to what it is today, a class action lawsuit firm. During our interview with CPT Group, our interviewer was an executive by the name of Julie Green. She is the Senior Vice President of Operations who has been with the firm for over 14 years. When she had originally started out as, she was a case manager. Then she has worked her way up to the position she has today. CPT Group has evolved over the years, handling multiple cases such as security cases, which involve stocks and shareholders. They more specifically handle employment-related cases, which are class action cases. In these class action cases, they take care of hourly rate wage, overtime, and break time, making sure everything's in compliance with the law. CPT Group Management. CPT Group has problems with effective management. As the company grows, they see more employees each year, growing by 10 employees each year, roughly. Each person has their own set of skills, personalities that make them unique. So as a manager, it can be difficult to cater to everyone's needs. With CPT Group growing each year, currently having over 60 employees, an issue arises with communication. A preferred communication is email as it's the quickest way to receive and send out memos, questions, or answers. However, the problem with this is people can interpret things another way. Another form of com communication is going to be face-to-face -face with immediate response times and clear overall message. The problem with this is with busy schedules, not everyone can meet face-to-face. There is verbal communication, such as phone calls, which provides an immediate response as well as an immediate question. The problems that can arise with this one, too, is going to be essentially time management. With everyone being so busy, not everyone can answer or send out phone calls. With CPT Group currently having over 60 employees, this creates a diverse work environment. Each employee has their own unique set of skills, experiences, personality, and culture background. These culture backgrounds help make the firm diverse. Thank you to CPT Group for the interview and those who showed up to the interview. Also, Thank you for taking the time out of your day to review our presentation and give us feedback. Greatly appreciated.